Okay, I'm going to try to shoot this on my phone. I don't know how well it's going to work. We'll see how things go. It's already kind of off to a weird start. Let me see here. So, basically I'm just wanting to kind of maybe show uh, how to use these, this uh, cheap premium uh, velocimeter that you can find on Amazon or uh, eBay. I got mine off of Amazon and so I know that the instructions that come with it are either in Chinese or the ones that are in English. I actually lost mine already. I've had this thing about a week. <clears throat> the ones that came with mine were pretty sketchy as it was. Uh, even the English ones. Luckily the Amazon vendor I bought this from had some pretty good instructions. So I kind of learned how to, to operate this because I kind of obsess over things sometimes and just like to figure things out. So I thought I would maybe share that for other people like myself that sometimes learn better by seeing hands-on or somebody else doing it instead of trying to interpret it. So uh, I'm not very good at doing presentations. I'm not very good at filming, so bear with me. There may be some edits in here. Camera may be wonky, various things like that. So uh, out of the box, you know, I'd push the button, nothing would happen, it wouldn't power on. So uh, I went ahead and plugged in the cable that came with it to charge it. Uh, when I did, I kind of had some other things to do, so I was just going to leave it. Uh, I noticed that the LED light that's on it and even the display, nothing really came on on the unit. Uh, later on, when I went to unplug the unit, I noticed that on the, the USB here, it was blue, and then later after using it and plugging it back in, it was red. So apparently, that's where it shows the status of the charge, if it's charging or not. Um, so then once it was charged up, of course, just pushing the button doesn't do anything. So then, of course, I just decided to hold on to it. And so when you do it, it says on, and it'll cycle through a self-test, and then it has like an underscore SU, and then it goes into uh, the two lines here, kind of showing that it's ready to read. Um, on mine, I'm using it with a Diana Chaser, which has a suppressor, and so then what I did is uh, I just put some vinyl tape, electrical tape, on the base here, and then I had some tubing I put around the U-bolt, and that kind of helped... Uh, with not scratching. I really like the unit so far. Uh, it's worked great for me. Uh, one of the deciding factors in it is that uh, it's really cheap. You know, I didn't want to, I'm just getting into air guns. I just kind of wanted something to, to mess around with, or if I decide to tweak on a gun that I can kind of measure, or that I can see uh, how different pellets are performing. And I didn't want to buy, you know, one of the, the big brands that's like around a hundred, hundred and ten dollars just for the unit or to get into a tripod and everything else. You know, you're getting around a hundred and thirty, a hundred and fifty dollars even for an inexpensive unit. And then the besides those it was just the other little air gun ones that had the, the kind of toilet paper tube you have to shoot through. And I don't know, that that didn't seem too appealing. You know, there's a lot of YouTube videos guys using the FX ones that hang off the barrel. So that's one of the things I liked about this is that I was able to put it on the barrel and in using it, I like it because I can still shoot at targets and uh, enjoy shooting while I'm reading, you know, making measurements. So I'm not just sitting there, if I'm trying to figure out how long a CO2 cartridge lasts, I'm not taking 30 to 50 shots of just shooting at nothing. So anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll move on from that. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's been really enjoyable having it on there and uh, being able to shoot targets at the same time. Uh, so it's pretty lightweight. It, uh, I think it specs at 130 grams. It's basically just the plastic unit on top and then the post and then it's got a circuit board with the LEDs. You can kind of see the, the circuit board print uh, underneath the painting here. Uh, so yeah, so basically that was just to hold on, power on, it goes through the sequence. And some of those are to, important to keep in mind because that's kind of how you make settings on this. And so then to turn it off, you just hold down on the power button, you'll see it flash here, and then it goes into off. And so kind of each one of those flashes represents the three modes that the button has. And so it has a, a fast press for, uh, and then like a medium press, which you can kind of hold it and you'll see this flash twice. So a fast press will flash once, hold it and it'll flash twice, and then a long press, it'll flash three times. And so then I went past, I think it went to like three or four, and then that's when it shut off. 
And so that's important to keep in mind because that's how you get into some of the settings and how you make changes to some of the settings. So uh, you'll notice that uh, when it was on, it had two dashes uh, on each end. That shows that it is in uh, auto shut off mode. And so if I'm kind of leaving it on and then just checking on it to see how long it took for it to power off, the auto power off mode was around uh, 15 to 20 minutes. So I would say if you're going to be longer than 15 minutes, then you may want to go into the mode of not having the auto shut down. And so uh, to do that one, that one I start with that one because that's the first one in the line in the sequences of making changes to the device before it comes to the ready state. And so one thing to also keep in mind is that once you put the settings into it, once you power the unit off, it does not retain those settings. So you have to do that each time you start the device. So uh, we'll, to get into turning off the auto shut off, uh, what we'll do is when you power on the device and it goes through the sequence of numbers, you want to hold down on the button before it gets to the number 5. And so there you can see it went to the two lines at the top, and then it continued the numbers, went to the SU for setup, and then now we have the two lines on there. And so what that means is that it won't ever auto power off. So I'm going to go ahead and power it off though. Okay. So now one of the other settings that you can then adjust from on the numbers from the number five and higher before it gets to the underscore SU is the amount of time that the display is on. And one of the ways we'll know if we made it into that or if we made it into putting in the weight of the pellet is uh, when it comes up to make the selection it'll start with the number five because it defaults to five seconds on the display. One of the things in maybe determining that number is uh, I've set it up, it'll only go up to 10 seconds, and so I've set it at 10 seconds, and when I shot and it was displaying the speed, and I reloaded it, and I took another shot, uh, it didn't record that shot, so it'll only record the next shot when the reading is off, so, you know, that may be too long, I don't know, you know, depending on how you're shooting, or what you're wanting to, uh, record your record time and everything like that, so to change that setting, when we turn it on, It'll go through the numbers. When it gets past five, we hold down, and then you let off, and then you, you can see there that it's at five. And so then I can change that, we'll say seven, and then when you hold down, it'll blink, and then it'll turn red and show a seven, and it'll go to the SU setting, and then it goes into the velocity mode. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. And of course, that'll reset that, so it'll go back to the default of five. The next mode is where you can put in the uh, weight of the pellet, and so then it'll tell you in joules uh, what the power, I guess, the, the the weight there, you know, how, how, how hard it's hitting, I believe. So, again, I'm new to a lot of this. So, I just figured out how to do that setting, though. So, to get into that, what we'll do is, once it goes through the cycle of numbers, then, uh, and it has the underscore SU, you'll want to hit the button. And I don't think you have to hold it down, you just have to hit the button. So we'll do that now. On. There it goes. And so then you'll have the two digits uh, with a decimal in, in between. So this is where you get into the medium press and long press. And so uh, the way you set this is if I want to set for 7.6 grams, what I'll do is I'll uh, hit fast. And you can see that it just does the one LED. So it goes to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then what I'll do is do the medium where I wait for this to light twice, and then that'll start counting down that decimal. 7.9, 7.8, 7.9, 7.9, 7.9, 7.9, 7.9, 7.9, 7.9, 7.9, 7.9, 7.9, 7.9, 7.9, 7.9, 7.9, 7.9, 7.9, 7.9, 
it will record up to 40 shots. Uh, you can just then hit it real quick one time and it goes into here and it has number one, but there's no number there, number two, no number. So I'll show that maybe uh, later when I shoot it outside. So. so then let me go ahead. So then you just hold down here and it'll go back to the read mode. And then you go here and it'll turn it off. So that's basically the different settings that are available with this unit. Uh, again, a quick refresher. Uh, when you turn it on, before it gets up to number five, hold down the button. That will then show the two lines on the top, turning off the auto shutoff feature. If you hold down the button uh, after the number five, that then takes you into changing the amount of time that it displays the number that you can only go up to 10 seconds on that and then in the SU mode if you press the button you can then uh, adjust the numbers by doing a fast press for the, the gram and then uh, a medium press for the uh, point gram and then uh, that will give you the jewel. Uh, one thing I'll show later that I didn't show here is that uh, when you do put in the weight of the pellet and then uh, you take your shots, you then go in to see uh, the shot memory. In the shot memory, it'll show you the velocity, and it'll have green LED, and then it'll show you the number in joules with a red, red LED. So it'll kind of flash through the different modes, and I'll show that later. Uh, that was some other camera footage I did. We'll see how that edits in. I may reshoot that, but that's pretty much it for uh, the basics of the unit. Uh, I may also show basically what I do then to then get uh, the, because this only measures in meters per second, I guess I should have said that earlier, to go from meters per second to feet per second, I then have an Excel sheet, uh, I use Google Sheets on my phone, I can just push on it and then put the number in and it translates it, but you can just do like a Google calculator or whatever, It's uh, you just multiply the number by some number I can't remember off the top of my head and it'll give you the uh, feet per second so all right so here I am in my backyard I'm just going to be shooting uh, with some basic Diana chaser uh, with my Diana chaser caliber 177 I'm just shooting some uh, Crossman premium um, pointed tip I don't know if I can get that in the picture or not. And so I'm just shooting a single shot tray. I'll go ahead and load up. I've already fired a few shots out of this. So what I'll do is I'll start by doing the power on. We'll just start with the basics. So we'll just let it come on. We'll go through its count. That's you. And then it shows the two lines. So then now I'll shoot. So I'll just shoot one of these little caps. Let's see if I can hit that little blue plastic cap I have out there. I even forgot to see what the uh I was more interested in shooting. And then what the chronographer says. There we have 160. And of course it's going for 5 seconds. And so now that we've shot twice, I'll put my camera on here so I can see. If I hit this button just once, it'll show shot 1, 162. Shot 2, 160. I thought it would cycle through them. And then we have no shot 3. And so then if you hold back down, It'll go back into the regular state. Now let me put my I should have put my safety on for that. Let me go ahead and put my safety on, and then let me hold on to this and power it off. So now let's try to go through the advanced mode. So again, what you'll need to do here is when we first turn it on, on. Uh, hold on, I already messed it up. So I want to, um, what I'm going to do in this is I'm going to set the 
uh, screen to stay on for 10 seconds and then I want to enter in the weight of the bullet and then go into thing. So what I'll do is we'll go on and then after it gets past 5 we'll hold down shows us 5 because it's set to 5 seconds we'll then bump it up with short hits 10 then we'll hold down and then we hit once there when it says SU glad I cut that real quick and so now we'll do some short hits up to 8 and then to get to 7.6 I'll hold down for a medium medium until we get to 7.6 and then I'll hold down the button and then it'll show us and go red and then now it's ready to shoot again so let me load a pellet Let's see if y'all be still free. Whoops, ah, I keep bumping the tripod here. Let me see. I'm just going to go for the metal plate. Here we got 160. As you can see, it's staying on for a lot longer now. And now to record the next shot, you have to wait for it to go off. I ran a test before to where when the number was still up and I shot, if it would record it, and it doesn't. So, that's something to keep in mind when you have that long interval. I know five can be kind of short, short, and then um, ten can be kind of long. And so now that we have two shots in here, now if I bring it up, if I hit the button, it's going to give us the meters per second. But then now with the red LED, it's showing us the joules. So then we can convert that to uh, foot pounds to uh, get an idea of how much power is uh, behind the bullet. So yeah, so now I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Oops. Oh, well that got me. Oh yeah, I had to hold down to get out of the mode and then turn it off. And of course then we lost all those settings. So I'm going to go ahead and pause now.